Number 18. Starting with the formula for the moment of inertia of a rod rotated about an axis through one end perpendicular to its length, this thing, prove that the moment of inertia of a rod rotated about an axis through its center perpendicular to its length is this thing. All right. So uh, we need something called the parallel uh, axis theorem in order to uh, figure this out. So uh, I'm going to write it down. So the parallel axis theorem says that the moment of inertia for the new system will be equal to the moment of inertia, uh, moment of inertia for the system uh, rotated about the center of mass, plus then the mass of the whole system multiplied by the displacement of the axis squared. So here are the here are the two cases from your book, and what we got to try to do is starting with this, we have to somehow prove uh, this result. Okay. Now, uh, simply, I'm going to draw both cylinders here. One has the axis on one end, and the other now, whoops, the, that's good enough, and the other one has an axis through the middle. So remember, both of these things have the same mass. The mass of this is going to be the same as the mass of that, so I'll just write a little m here and an m here, and also the length, right? This whole thing is of length l, and so is this whole thing. This whole thing is of length l as well. So now... This would be the system rotating about the center of mass, right? Because the rod is this bar, the center of mass is down the middle, and the rod will rotate around that. So really what I'm trying to do in my formula here, I'm really to, trying to calculate this variable. Okay, that's my unknown. Now in terms of the uh, new inertia, you can kind of think of this as, uh, instead of thinking about it as the new inertia, you can think about it as the inertia of the system where the axis is off-center. Okay, so I can kind of change these, you know, change the subscript. I can just say uh, OCM maybe off of the center of mass. Okay, that works. Um, so that would be this particular system because the axis of rotation here is off of the center. It's not on center. And therefore, it says to start with this thing. So I'm going to basically take this moment of inertia, plug it on in here. Okay, so here we have ML squared over 3 is then equal to, this is what I'm asked to calculate, so that's my variable, ICM, plus then, now what does this mean? So, or what do these two variables mean? So the M here stands for the mass of the whole system, mass of the whole system, so both, I mean, it, it's still M, right? This rod is equivalent to this rod, and therefore the M right here is the same as this M, etc. So I can just write M, and then now the term D here stands basically for displacement, okay? Displacement of the axis of rotation. So for example, from moving from the off center to the on center or from the on center to the off center, it really doesn't matter how you look at it. Um, I'll, I'll do it this way. So basically in order to move from this case to this case, we moved this axis of rotation halfway down the rod, right? So how far did we actually move it? Well, I just said halfway down the rod. If the total rod is length L, halfway will then be L over two, right? So this little distance over here, right here, is going to be L over two. So that's the amount that the uh, parallel axis was uh, moved. And the axis has to be parallel, which it is. All right, that's the whole idea behind the parallel axis theorem. So when I plug in now my value for D, it's going to be L over 2, and that whole thing is squared. Cleaning it up a little bit, so we got ML squared over 3 is equal to ICM plus ML squared over 4 now. And solving for this, we would just have to subtract this on out, okay? So when you do that, I'll leave you to find the common denominator and so on and so forth. It's You will see when you subtract this value from this, you will arrive at ML squared over 12. And that's exactly what we expected. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe and look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.